Indianapolis Colts at home after a week of rest, sitting at 5-5, five and five, so lots to play for still. They welcome the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, so it's an episode of Minshew Mayfield. It's like a modern chips or something. Give them nothing! Take from them everything! Let's start on the Indianapolis side. Huge key for the Colts' defense, takeaways. They have a lot of them this season. They rank near the top in INTs, which is why they've held quarterbacks to a nice low 80s rating. Tannehill fires near side. It's picked. Julian Blackman with a game ceiling INT. In trots Baker Mayfield, not coming in hot. An INT last week, sub 80 rating versus San Francisco. Incomplete. Oh, and in back of the end zone, it's picked off. How Baker goes, goes the Bucks. Six losses now, his rating sub-85 in four of them. Mayfield to throw, and intercepted! It's been all about defense today. Mayfield's play affected by taking sacks, which he took four of last week, and he's taken three-plus in four of their last five. Mayfield is in trouble and sacked by Chase Young. Colts' pass rush is a strength, a healthy three-sack per game average. Matt Jones steps up, but he is sacked by DeForest Buckner and Dio Dangbo. Colts' defense is very aggressive, led the league in tackles for loss after 10 games. Big butt, though. Sir Mix-a-Lot worthy. India's played a risk-reward style of defense. Lots of sacks, lots of turnovers. Big butts cannot lie, he said. They rank near the bottom in both yards per game and points per game allowed. They've given up over 11 yards per catch, over 7 yards per attempt. It's not good to be on the north side of 11 and 7. Wide open, Christian Kirk. Touchdown. With Tampa's passing attack, you have to be able to defend all three pass catching types. Wide receiver more so, of course, with Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. Evans scored last week. They're going to look to throw it back in the end zone. There's Mike Evans. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. He only had 43 yards. Godwin had 39. Indianapolis's rate allowed two wideouts, 90.7. That's respectable. Nice job by Brents. Matched up inside, really plays it nice. They've been tougher on tight ends and running backs, though, holding those positions to sub-80 rates. Intended for Henry and knocked down by Julian Blackman. So if Indianapolis' defense gives up lots of yards and points, how are they 5-5? Five and five? Well, one of the more underappreciated aspects to the Colts' season is how productive their offense has been without getting much fanfare. But it's Taylor again with the cutback. Taylor! Taylor on his way! Top 10 offense in points per game and in the red zone, 14th in yards per game. They've been able to cash in on some of those turnovers their defense creates. Minshew oh, keeps oh, the sprint out to Pittman and into the end zone, a Michael Pittman touchdown. The engine, of course, is their run game. Jonathan Taylor averaging about 70 yards on the ground his last four games. Taylor on the take and he's in. Jonathan Taylor starting to sizzle. He's still under four yards per carry, though. Zach Moss hitting at 4.6. Trying to get to the edge. Oh, nice patient run, and he finds the opening. Zach Moss. He's been barely used the last few games. Tampa Bay has been tough to run on. They held Christian McCaffrey to 3.7 a carry. Here's a toss from McCaffrey. White shirt surround him. Levante David. There was Shaq Barrett. They did not play the pass well, though. Week 11 gave up 158.3 rating to Brock Purdy. That's as high as it gets. Gets, 333 yards, three touchdowns. He's got him! He beats Dean, and he takes it the distance! Now the Bucks get Rico Dynamite. Gardner doesn't have any shiny numbers by any means. He is a gamer, though. Dropping back oh. under pressure. He scrambles in the pocket. He runs right, throws down the goal. Oh, the pitch. The pitch. He makes the catch. Minshew's going to have to perform well versus the Blitz. That's Tampa Bay's defensive thing. Colts aren't bad when it comes to sacks allowed, but Minshew has a 75.4 rate versus five-plus pass rushers. Relatively speaking, he has been worse versus the Blitz, not better. Minshew flips it out. Incomplete. Colts air game, driven by two guys primarily, both wide receivers. Michael Pittman, the slot dude, 67 yards per game. Throws over the middle. That is 
is complete. Pittman on the grab. Rookie Josh Downs a little over 50 yards per. Minshew, buying time, flips it out for Downs! <laughs> what a catch by the rookie! Battle between two teams from the south in that murky area. Fill the comments section with your thoughts on the matter. Panel of 10 will explain themselves numerically.